how to use all the living pages in a Word document. All the living pages can be a very useful tool when planning the layouts of a page in any Word document. By using all the even pages, you can insert different headers and footers in your document. Double click the header area, a contextual tab appears. Click on the header command. From the list, select your preferred choice. Let's settle on left align header. On the options group, select different odd and even pages. This will push the current header downwards. Let's go back again and click on the header command. This time, let's select right align header from the list. We will now rename the right align header to match the topic for chapter 1, which is period of preparation. Let's now rename the left align header to match the name of the article, which is the creative process. We will now scroll down to the tail end of chapter 1. Chapter 2 has the topic period of incubation, but the header is period of preparation. To fix this anomaly, there's the need to have a section break between chapter 1 and 2. To do this, on the layout tab, click on breaks command. From the section breaks, select next page. After the break, we will now unlink the header by going to the navigation group. We will then click on link to previous. As you can see, we have section 1 and 2 respectively. Let's rename the header to period of incubation to match the topic for chapter 2. Now let's scroll up to chapter 1 to find out whether changes made to headers in chapter 2 has affected headers in chapter 1. Not at all. When you scroll through chapter 2, you also realize that the right aligned headers are now period of incubation. We will now scroll down to the tail end of chapter 2. Chapter 3 has the topic period of insight or inspiration, but the header is period of incubation, which is not in line with the topic for chapter 3. To fix this anomaly, there is the need to have a section break between chapter 2 and 3. To do this, on the layout tab, if you are using a previous version of Word, you can find it on page layout tab. Click on breaks command. From the section break, select next page. After the break, we will now unlink the header by going to the navigation group. We will then click on link to previous. Let's rename the header to period of insight or inspiration to match the topic for chapter 3. Now let's scroll up to chapter 2 to find out whether changes made to the headers in chapter 3 has affected the headers in chapter 2. Not at all. When you scroll through chapter 3, you will also realize that the right aligned headers are now period of insight or inspiration. You will now scroll down to the tail end of chapter 3.
Chapter 4 has the topic, Period of Verification, Elaboration, Perception and Evaluation. But the header is Period of Insight or Inspiration, which is not in line with the topic for Chapter 4. To fix this anomaly, there is the need to have a section break between Chapter 3 and 4. To do this on the Layout tab, click on Breaks command. From the Section Breaks, select Next Page. After the break, we will now unlink the header by going to Navigation Group. We then click on Link to Previous. Let's rename the header to Period of Verification, Elaboration, Perception and Evaluation to match the topic for Chapter 4. Now let's scroll to chapter 3 to find out whether changes made to headers in chapter 4 has affected headers in chapter 3. Not at all. When you scroll through chapter 4, you will also realize that the right align headers are now period of verification, elaboration, perception and evaluation. Let's print preview our documents. Click on the file tab, the backstage view appears. Navigate to print and click it. The document previews on the right side of the backstage view. Use the navigation arrows below the document to move from one page to the other. As you scroll through the pages, there are a few flaws we have to fix. We have to remove the cover page header. Quite apart from that, we must also remove the header for each first page where the chapter begins. Let's return to the document and make the necessary changes. Press Ctrl Home on your keyboard to go back to the cover page. There's the need to have a section break between the cover page and chapter 1. To do this on the Layout tab, if you are using a previous version of Word, you can find it on Page Layout tab. Click on Breaks command from the Section Breaks, select Next Page. After the break, we'll click on the Cover Page Header area. On the options group, let's select different first page. The header removes immediately because it is a different first page. We will also click on the header area of chapter 1. On the options group, select different first page. The header removes immediately because it is a different first page. Let's move to chapter 2. Click on the header area of chapter 2. On the options group, select different first page. The header removes immediately because it is a different first page. We will now move to chapter 3. Click on the header area of chapter 3. On the options group, select different first page. The header removes immediately because it is a different first page. Let's move to chapter 4. Click on the header area of chapter 4. On the options group, select different first page. The header removes immediately because it is a different first page.
We now do a final preview to see whether the anomalies have been fixed or not. Press Ctrl Home on your keyboard to return to the cover page. Click the file tab. The backstage view appears. Navigate to print and click it. The cover page header has been removed. Aside that, when you move to chapter 1, the header for the first page, which starts chapter 1, has been removed. Apart from that, when you move to chapter 2, the header for the first page, which starts chapter 2, has been removed. Moreover, when you move to chapter 3, the header for the first page, which starts chapter 3, has also been removed. Finally, when you move to chapter 4, the header for the first page has been removed. We are now good to go. Subscribe, share, like, and comment.